So yesterday, Jen and I looked out the window um, when we heard a chicken in distress and uh, one of our chickens was just laying there and all the other girls were surrounding her and they were picking on her and even our new chicken was picking at her. Uh, so we ran out there and it looked like maybe the rooster mounted her and gouged her with his claws and then they all started picking once they saw the blood. So we got her out of there and we've got her in a cage that we just happened to buy uh, the day before at the Goodwill for 20 bucks, a, a dog kennel cage. So that worked out great. Um, let me show you that. So it's a little dark in here, but this is where we have her now. This is Astrid, our blue Astralorp, Astralorp. And uh, she has, towards the back of her, I don't know if you can see this on her saddle feathers kind of there at the top underneath there it was all red and bloody and there was a gouge so we brought her in here and we're doing a little sleepover she was fine last night and she's really comfortable in here she laid an egg this morning and uh, so she seems to be doing fine i'm gonna take her out and uh just wash up her wound with a little soap and water and check on it and We'll just see how she's doing. All right, so this is Astrid. I've got some warm soapy water here and a clean cloth towel. So I'm gonna look her over first and see how it's looking. This happened yesterday and uh, didn't really get a chance to wash her off yesterday. So hopefully it's looking better already, but we'll check it out here. And I'm not sure if I can get it on camera, but... Okay, 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 okay. Stay in my arm there. You're all right. You're all right. I gotcha. I gotcha. My, oh my. I know. You're okay. So, I don't know if I can show you, but... So you can see there... It's already kind of scabbing over, which is pretty amazing because she was bloody right up in there, right through there. She's got some other spots right down in here. So that's pretty encouraging. She's looking really good. Um, we have another chick in our wine dot. And she is getting the same uh, problem with feathers being pulled out from the rooster just clinging on to him. So I'm really not sure how much longer we're going to have the old rooster around. He's a good boy, but um, I don't want this. I really don't want to feed a rooster, and we really don't need him for any protection because uh, it's just not necessary because we have a strong, strong built coop, and we're always out there if we do let him out of that. All right, that's a good girl. I think we can put you back into the pen for now. All right, so she's back in there. Uh, boy, I may just, she may be ready to go out tomorrow. Those little scabbed over spots, uh, there's really no red to them. I, I'll probably keep her in here one more day just to be safe, but I think this is going to be a quick recovery process, so that is great. One thing about our place is it's a tiny home. Our cabin is about 400 square feet and it's a challenge living in a tiny home. Add homesteading to that where you have animals, uh, you need a lot of tools, things like that. It's really a challenge and I love it. I wouldn't give up or change anything, but whew, uh, we have so much stuff in here right now. We recently purchased this Camp Chef three burner stove so we can can on it. We also have a two burner 16 inch pizza oven and that thing is incredible. The pizzas we've been making with that is great. And Jen came up with this uh, recipe. She found a recipe for really killer pizza dough. We'll be doing a video on that. It's the best pizza dough I've ever had and homemade stuff. And uh, you know, we've got stuff from the garden, uh, some peppers from the store, we've got chicken feed in here. I've got, um grit in here right now so we're building a outdoor kitchen 
that's the plan, and I think that build needs to happen sooner than later because right now it's raining and I really can't cook out there. There's nowhere that's covered out there to cook, so um, we kind of really need that. All we have is this little micro burner and, uh, oh, and we have this little toaster oven. So uh, we're really looking forward to, get a, to getting a uh, outdoor kitchen going. So anyway, that's that's what we have going on here. And like I said, it's really a challenge in a tiny, tiny home. Also, look at this beauty. I got this old full-length beaver coat from one of my brothers. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. Maybe I'll start a new series on, uh, like every Friday, guy in a beaver coat, old ways. I could show trapping videos, uh, fishing, cooking, I don't know. I will have to be careful wearing this outside. Um, I don't want to be mistaken for a bear and uh, get shot by one of my neighbors or something. This thing is just, you could walk around. The potential for this beaver coat is unlimited. Oh, the things I can do. One other great thing about the chicken doing so well is this cage needs to get empty and available for two visitors that we have. Well, four visitors, but two of them might be watching right now. Colin and Ethan, if you're watching, we got a sweet little place for you guys to stay. Uh, you both should fit in there, no problem. I'll remove that perch. We'll leave the door open so you can get in and out to go to the bathroom. Um, I could put another feeder in there that's a little bigger in case you guys get hungry for a snack or something, but check that out. Deluxe accommodations right there. Um, we'll see if we can round up a pillow for you, and I'll put some fresh bedding in there for you. You guys should be A-OK. -okay. Well, I was hoping this video might be a little more dramatic with our chicken, but I'm really happy to see that she's doing well. Um, she will be back with the flock soon, and hopefully they don't treat her like a newcomer. We'll have to kind of keep an eye on that, but um, that's all going great. Really happy for Astrid, the blue Osterlord. And I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. We've had a surge of subscribers recently. We're at 485 the last time I checked, and we're getting close to 500, which will be huge for a small channel like us. So thank you, everyone, for subscribing. Thank you for everyone that keeps on watching and following our journey. We really appreciate it. For Almost Homestead, I'm Jay. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I got a chicken with a bloody back Brought her in the house where she won't get back She gonna wash up nice and clean Gonna go back a fighting machine Gonna earn her place back in the flock